now this is open office writer window editing and formatting documents for that first of all uh, we are going to type one paragraph okay i'll type something uh, here three lines and now i'm going to give it a heading okay now how to select text so edit select all okay and shortcut key is control plus a so when we uh, click on control plus a at that time everything in the document is selected okay uh, whether uh, it is expanding in different uh, pages for example there are three pages and the three pages of text is there so when we click on control plus a at that time everything in these three pages will get selected second thing to select is click here before o and drag the mouse up to the place you want to select the content okay for example if i want to select this line only then i will drag up to this place and click and drag to select more for example here we have selected three lines of text then uh, without using mouse come to the place from where you want to select the text for example from second line press shift key and right side arrow okay and you will get the text being selected as soon uh, as soon as you start this arrow button on top right side okay like this also we can select this from keyboard now uh, i am going to delete something and uh, bringing it back on screen for example i have selected this from edit cut option is there okay or simply i can press delete key from my keyboard delete okay now uh, for example this has been done by mistake now i want to bring it back on the screen so edit and undo okay okay undo uh, is there in edit and the shortcut key is control plus z okay now again if i want to delete this then edit redo okay undo and redo control y and control z control z is for undo uh, control y is for redo okay and control shift plus y is for repeat the operation and there are undo and redo buttons on the toolbar also this is redo button this is undo button so basically this toolbar is having a frequently used button that we uh, we are going to use frequently in the document that we require multiple times so these are shortcut same operations we can perform from these menus for example this is undo redo button these buttons are there these options are there in edit menu okay same way bold italic underline these are in format okay now cut copy and paste so for example i want to i am going to select this second and third line okay second and third line edit and cut and shortcut key of cut is control plus x so now uh, when we use this option cut at that time it is not deleted but it is removed from the place from where uh, we have used this option okay right now this second and third line will get removed from here but it will be saved in clipboard that is some part of memory in this software and whenever we require we can paste it afterwards so cut now it is cut not deleted so now for example i want to bring it here then edit and paste okay so this is cut paste option cut paste operation we do when we want to move some uh, something from one place to another so when we are using cut paste at that time uh, it is placed to a new location 
and uh, from actual location it is removed now with undo i have uh, brought it back on screen now again i am going to select this edit copy for copy shortcut is control plus c okay and then come to a new place where you want to paste this so edit and paste so now it is copied to a new location in this copy and paste operation it remains on its actual place and one new copy is created where you have uh, pasted that text now finding and replacing the text for example uh, here i use mouse frequently and i want to make uh, this of mouse with capital m okay so for that first of all i have to find out the place where it is okay uh, first of all i have to go to the place where i use this mouse or uh, spelling for example i have to go line by line and then wherever i fi find this mouse i am going to change this so this way it is not practical approach okay because right now we are dealing in few lines only two or three lines but if this document is of uh, is having 15 to 20 pages and it is about mouse only and mouse operations at that time we will find it difficult to go to each and every place and change it so there is one option that is find and replace so that it can save our time and uh, even if uh, 50 or 100 times this mouse spelling comes, it is changed by doing it uh, once only. So in edit, there is find and replace and control F is shortcut key for the same. For example, right now we are going to search for mouse. So search for mouse, then find. Now it will highlight the word that is matching with this text now next find next here it is then find next here it is okay then here two and three like this now find all it will highlight each word which is matching with this text now we we are going to replace this okay for example fine okay this one so for example if i want to change this spelling only at that time m o u s e okay m capital and i am clicking on replace only okay not replace all so replace so now it is changing only one single spelling of mouse other spelling is remained at as it is so now if you want to change everywhere the same thing at that time replace all okay so it is showing us that six times this word is, uh, was matching uh, in the document and uh, it is replaced six times with this word that is capital m o u s e okay now you can see everywhere the mouse m is capital okay this is find and replace utility now there is one option insert special character okay so these are the characters which are not basically on keyboard so if we want to use any special symbol or character that is not on keyboard this kind of symbols we can find it here and we can insert in our document from here okay so these many symbols are there that you can use for example uh, I, I am going to insert this one three upon four okay so like this copyright symbol also we have selected earlier so it is also there okay now you can format it according to your requirement okay like this or you can make it uh, give it different color also from here like this so this this is special symbol how to insert special symbol in your document then for formatting paragraph okay this is formatting toolbar okay here different heading levels are there okay when you select some uh, a particular heading okay for example okay you can see this now it is different from normal text okay so this is 
one option then uh, type of font that also you can select okay then uh, size of that font then bold italics underline different options are there then this is alignment of this text this is by default left align this is centered this is right alignment this is justified justified is what let's see for example see this one two and three lines first line ends here second line ends here okay so there is some gap okay uh, it is not actually finishing at the same point so it is not looking proper so we can select the paragraph and select this justified now you can see this this by and the both are ending properly at same point so this way you can use this justified option now if i want to show this india on this side at that time select this okay now it is right aligned now this we are making centered like this now these are bullets and numberings these are bullets and these are numberings and when you select this you have different options here okay that you can customize then this is color of font that you can change this is highlighting of the text that is selected this is background color uh, it will give background to selected part for example if we are going to give background to this part only at that time we can select that and give a particular color okay like this this is uh, background for selected part and this is again find and replace if you want to search something in your document then you can type it here and then start searching for that word now you can see this this mouse we have found okay here again yes if i see i am clicking here at the starting point and if i i am starting again because our selection started from this line so now from starting we are going to select now the first mouse comes here second here then third is here so this is how you can uh, directly find something from your document.